Commissioner tonight is hoping to block assault weapon sales in Hillsborough County. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos live with both sides of this heated debate. Maricela. Commissioner Les Miller told me he wants to protect schools. He also said he's been informed that he could be fined or that the governor could remove him from his position because there is a state law prohibiting banning the sale of assault weapons. The other side says this commissioner is going about it the wrong way. Commissioner Les Miller made it very clear last night what he believes should happen to assault rifles in the county. He wants an ordinance banning sales in Hillsboro. I'm in total agreement. I will certainly be his second. Commissioner Pat Kemp wanted to discuss the Parkland shooting last night too, praising the Stoneman Douglas students for fighting. I want them to know that the world is listening and certainly I as a county commissioner am listening too. She agrees with Commissioner Miller and wants the waiting period for obtaining a firearm raised to the maximum. I'm more than willing to step forward and do uh, everything I can and including uh, taking a $5,000 fine to do the right thing and, and send a message to those state legislators that they need to do the right thing too. Mark Serbu owns Serbu Firearms Inc. He says this is not a gun issue. The Parkland shooting was a failure of the system. You know, FBI, Broward County. I mean, how many how many calls were made to the FBI and to Broward County that were ignored? A ban could hurt his business. We actually build and sell AR-15s, but not a lot of them. But uh, yeah, it's just, you know, it, it would limit us being able to sell in our own community, which is kind of kind of dumb. He doesn't believe it'll move forward. I don't think so. I, I, like I said, I think the guy's grandstanding. He's just trying to get some political points with, you know, in, in this wave of you know, anti-gun fervor that's going on right now. The commissioner also wants to make it a misdemeanor if someone threatens a school. So here's what happens next. The commissioner will go before the other county commissioners on Wednesday. He'll ask them to approve to get the legal staff to write up these three ordinances. So this is very preliminary. And at some point, if this does move forward, there would be public hearings. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News. Maricela.